So this is my April update. So I had this whole sophisticated plan, right, to publish new posts and episodes every single week. Uh, and then our internet broke. The pass closed due to snow. The creek flooded and flooded us in. And frogs fell from the sky. <laughs> uh, all that's true except for the frog part. So our internet is actually still broke over a month later. Uh... It either straight up doesn't work or it's crippled, like I can email or text only. Um, so that was kind of frustrating, but about, you know, a week or two into this non-consensual internet detox, I thought, right, um, this is actually kind of nice. So the internet is for losers, I quit. Now obviously, uh, well not obviously, but I don't mean I quit using the internet totally. I mean, uh, I, I think I'm going to do an experiment in April which is I'm going to quit using the internet at home. So eventually the internet here is going to get fixed, I assume. Um, uh, uh, but I'm, my plan is to pretend that it doesn't come back on. Uh, my, my, I'm going to pretend like we just don't have internet here. So my rule is I can go to the internet, I can have as much internet as I want, I just can't have it here. Uh, but because of where I live, that means I've got to either catch the shuttle, uh, walk, or ride my bike. Uh, 25, 27 miles, something like that, to the library uh, to get the internet. And um, so that, that 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 is kind of my plan. Um, you know, I keep getting, I, I, I get some flack for this. Uh, you know, people keep saying things like, uh, hey, Tyler, that will be very inconvenient. And I'm like, well, that's sort of the point. Um, you know, I'm not optimizing for easy. I'm optimizing for transformation and interesting. Um, and rarely is worthwhile transformation convenient. So, you know, run towards inconvenience is kind of my, uh, MO. You know, I've, I've had easy access to the internet since I was like 12. Um, and I'll bet that being 25 miles or so away from the internet will change me somehow. I don't know exactly how, but for better or worse, it'll be interesting. And that's enough of a reason for me. So I'm going to have a go at it. You know, my last experiment along these lines my satanic uh, digital Sabbath, where am I? Yeah, my satanic digital Sabbath. It went well, I really enjoyed it. I did this early, I think it was December 2021, I believe it was. Uh, that was when I, 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 my rule was I couldn't use any screen, like anything with a screen, I couldn't use internet connected or otherwise, except on Saturdays, I think it was. So I only had one day of using digital technology and I really loved that. Um, but I had some things to do at the time that required uh, the, the use of internet. But you know, there's a difference between this experiment that I'm doing and that experiment, which is that, you know, if I needed to do something on the internet during my satanic digital stuff, I could just wait it out. I'll be like, oh, it's only three days till Saturday. I'll just wait it out and do it then. With this experiment, I can have as much internet as I want, but I've got to go get it. <laughs> I've, I've got a somewhat significant barrier, and I've, I've got to um, move myself to go get it. Um, and, and so I think that'll be interesting. Um, I think that'll be interesting. Um, this, so, so basically what I'm going to do is, like, while I'm up here at Fort Dirtbag, my Fortress of Solitude, I will write, I'll produce uh, podcasts and things like this, um, and then and I'll edit them, I'll get them packaged, and then when I go into town, you know, then I'll upload them. That's the plan. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited about that. It's not great for, uh, obviously having, like, recording conversations with people. I don't have a good answer for that. Um, you know, some of my thoughts are like, well, maybe, maybe I'll make an exception just for that. Just, like, you know, set up calls with people, do that, if and when we get our internet fixed. Um, maybe it's like I'm only, you know... Uh, I only do in real life, you know, like when I'm physically with someone and we can record together. Um, that's not ideal, obviously, because I've had some really wonderful conversations with people over the internet. So uh, I don't have a great solution for that. I'll think of something. Um, right. All right. On to project update. So project TTM5K. Uh, this is my project where I'm trying to spend uh, only $5,000 or less in a year period. Uh, my current uh, trailing 12-month cost of living is 7305 or something like that. Uh, so that is going well. Um, you know, my 
the the very last category of expense that I'm getting under control. It's called uh, uh, it's called education in my spreadsheet. It just means books. I've spent like a hundred dollars on books a month since forever. Um, you know, I buy used books. If I'm not near a used bookstore, I buy them on uh, thriftbooks.com or a books or wherever. Um, but I now have finally have uh, a library card, access to a library uh, where I can check books out, which is a long story. Uh, so I expect my education category to drop by an order of magnitude, which I'm excited about. So all that's left in terms of expenses is food, which for me is around 150 bucks, and shelter, which is also around 150 bucks. But that shelter includes uh, clothing, uh, like the materials I bought to sew my own bivy bag, for example, as, as well as anything else that I buy from the hardware store for my builds. Um, project uh, Local Solar Punk Handyman. So I concluded my handyman gig uh, with a neighbor. Uh, this is a neighbor that I was, you know, over the last six months we repaired a pond, we fixed a collapsed patio roof, we built a garden enclosure, we uh, installed irrigation, stacked a lot of wood, um, just did a bunch of stuff over at his place. Uh, and then it was enjoyable, you know, to earn a little money uh, while working a few hours a day, a few days a week. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do anything like that ever again, probably. Um, it was too many hours and too little autonomy. Uh, so it was a neat idea in theory. I, I'm glad I gave it a go, uh, you know, because my idea was, hey, I can earn enough money to fund my lifestyle just uh, living up here and helping neighbors out and things like that, which was true, but I didn't enjoy it enough. And it took uh, too much away. Also, uh, if you read my blog post, uh, self sabotage, uh, self sovereignty and sabotage, self sabotage, and so I don't remember which one, but that one. If you read that one, uh, that kind of explains why uh, other people's projects is kind of like crack cocaine for me. So I just need to get away from it. So that that's really why I'm not going to do anything like that again. Uh, my other, so I have another project. Um, with uh, for neighbors, uh, that's a, a PV system upgrade. Uh, it's the light is at the end of the tunnel on that one, particularly now that I've uh, freed up some more time. I mostly just need to get everything installed and wired together. Yeah, I massively underestimated how much work the project was going to be, uh, but I've learned a lot and I have like pure autonomy on it. So you know, the doing the work has been really fun and completely tolerable. Um, it's also the biggest PV system I've ever done. It's uh, 5,000 uh, 5, watts of production and uh, like 27,000 watt hours of storage. It's uh, 1,000 amp hours at 24 volts, uh, which feels uh, which feels kind of cool in a Tim Taylor bin from 5,000 sort of way. So I will have been very glad to have done that project and I'll also be glad when it's done. I've been uh, letting it drag on too long. Uh, project have adventures and do interesting fun stuff because we're all gonna die soon and nothing really matters anyways so the PC my PCT hike so just to clarify my permit is to start near here so not at the border of Mexico is to start near here start at the base of the Sierras and my plan was just to walk through the Sierras to like the middle of Oregon or something and and, and do it so there's an acronym in through hiker lingo which is lash which stands for long ass section hike so I wasn't gonna hike through the whole thing. I was just going to do a section. Like, but goodness gracious, there is a lot of snow up in those Sierras right now. So, you know, if I leave here when my permit says I leave, which is May 30th, I'll just walk straight into a wall of snow. And if I wait it out, the runoff could be super crazy. Um, it's maybe not really the shindig I had in mind. I'm not super psyched on snow and I'm also not super psyched on dying in a rushing river. Um, so I'm, I'm considering giving up my permit to someone else. As someone who's you know psyched to, to deal with that and uh, do, doing something else uh, the first thing that comes to mind is filling the panniers of my bike with climbing equipment and just dirt bag climbing uh, up the east side and kind of having a, a fun go of the summer in, in that way a little bit more autonomous you know some people plan their through hikes around quitting their jobs right like they've got it they, they kind of like make a hole in their lives to do the PCT. And so if it's a big snow year, they're kind of in a jam. It's like, it's kind of their one shot or it's a big deal for them to make it happen. But for me, I have a lot of flexibility. So I can kind of call an audible and be like, ah, ah, yeah, I don't know, man, I'll try next year. <laughs> um, you know, and, and maybe I'll make someone's day who, who wasn't able to get a permit. 
Uh, so that's the deal on that. Uh, project Ship Shape. So I've maintained, uh, you know, an averagely organized and averagely clean space my whole life. My desks in particular have always been piled high with stuff. It's been like chaos. Um, and while introspecting on the topic of self-regard, uh, it occurred to me that a messy space might serve as a signal that I only deserve. I'm only worth, you know, a messy space. And that a very clean space might serve as a signal that I'm worthy of a clean space. Um, and it's a small thing, uh, but I thought it worth an experiment. So, uh, so I started a week ago. I started with the inside of Serenity. I've been keeping Serenity really picked up, really clean. Um, and this coming month, I'll add like the yard, the, the grounds around uh, Fort Dirtbag, and also the interior of the studio, which is a little bit of a mess. Has always been a little bit of a mess. Um, already I feel better more formidable something like that just from having a cleaner space and um, my sink and serenity is copper and it really looks good when you keep it clean um, you just scrub the patina off of it project write a book manuscript is coming along well you know I went through a first round of advanced reader feedback which spurred a ton of revisions cuts additions reformulations if you're one of my advanced readers thank you I got an enormous amount of value out of every single person's feedback um, I'm really enjoying writing it. The thing sucks less and less every day. Um, and I, I plan to either finish it before the end of May, or if I don't feel like it's done then, then I'll let it rest, uh, while I go walk about and then finish and publish it when I get back. Either way, I plan on taking some notebooks with me to begin longhand work on my next writing project. Project Dry 2023. So... I don't remember if I wrote this on, uh, if I've mentioned this, but uh, I'm not drinking alcohol this year. Uh, it will be my first full year uh, without drinking alcohol. Uh, so, you know, I haven't had a drink since December 31st. And man, what a good choice. I feel great. Uh, and I, I just wanted to mention, I haven't listened to it, but I know a lot of people on the forum say they listened to this Huberman podcast episode on the effects of alcohol and they just quit drinking uh powerful i haven't listened to it yet i don't know uh what he says about it but it sounds legit so i think my rule is that at the conclusion of my dry year if i afterwards want to have a drink my my rule is just gonna be i have to listen to that podcast first um as things stand i'm you know i'm just enjoying being a non-drinker too much to put much thought into it so i don't i don't really feel the need to listen to it you know, for, for many years, I thought that the most healthy amount of alcohol for me, for, for myself specifically, was something like two to four drinks every fortnight. And that, that was a mental health thing. Like, I noticed that it helped me, it helped pull me out of taking myself too seriously. You know, I'd, I'd have a couple drinks and I'd have this like, all right, nothing matters and everything is beautiful moment. And I'd be good for another couple weeks. But it turns out it's really difficult to drink only two to four drinks every two weeks. Uh, there's just a lot of areas of life in which zero is a lot easier to attain than uh, a very little bit. So at any rate, three months into 2023, and I'm finding other ways of, of reminding myself not to take things so seriously. Uh, Headbanging to Monomarth for 15 minutes does the trick quite reliably, as does sitting outside and listening to birds. And all I have to do is catch like a half second glimpse of one of our local little kangaroo mice scampering around to get a complete recharge on the mad beauty of existence. And I'm good. So, all right. That is my update for April. Um, stay well. Thanks.